the sound. Hustle. Pray. Eat. What up, everybody? It's Mark the Bad Guy. And Jade, Miss Teapot, because we still wear the teas, huh? And you're listening to Hustle, Pray, Eat. The podcast episode nine! <laughs> so we're one away from double figures. Absolutely. How was your Christmas? Uh, Christmas was wonderful. It was super chill. Mm -hmm. um, even though I worked. You know, I worked Christmas Eve, got off at midnight, came home, enjoyed the presents. We slept in a little bit. Uh, yeah, it was super cool. I got some litty things. What did you get? I can't say it on camera, but I got some just super awesome stuff. <laughs> um, shout out to my wife. We're, we're married. Um, <laughs> hey, and that, remember I told you it was a shotgun to my pocket? Like, oh, super, yeah. Can, can you pass that over here? <laughs> yeah, can you? Uh -uh. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, 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 that's crazy. Go ahead and pass it over oh. here. Go ahead and pass it. Oh. And make sure you reach in there and get the other thing. Too, oh, it's in there. Oh, see what I mean? Absolutely. Show the camera. See, see what I mean? Oh, we all matching. Oh, yeah. you know what? We all got coached this Christmas. Then. It's all in the family. Yes. yes okay. sir. <laughs> Mommy laid on. She brought us. Um, I got a little pink. Coach bag and Erin got a little uh, a little brown. Mm -hmm. Yours brown was brown, brown. and <laughs> tiny. Yeah, so good gifts. I think this year, like everybody was really thoughtful for each other. Don't you, you guys think? Mm -hmm. Like Erin um, made us all quacks, <laughs> and she likes customized them all. And I, I don't wear quacks. I never worn quacks, but I will wear them. Were they comfortable? Are they comfortable? They are very mm -hmm. comfortable. I hear that, but it's like yo. I'd rather get some Yeezys <laughs> for comfort. Are they waterproof yet? This they've got holes in them. So well, they these ones don't. They got. Oh, they don't have holes in them. The it. holes are covered because these are the winter Crocs. Oh, oh the winter God. Crocs. <laughs> I didn't even know. That. I thought Crocs was gonna like fade out here pretty soon. Like that was my thought. I seen them in the kitchen once. I'm like, man, those are the <laughs> ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> then Aaron came up with all these colors. I feel like Aaron makes them look good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and Tank got me a, a, um, a Poetic Justice t-shirt. So it's got, uh, it's pink long sleeves and it's got two pack on it. And when I saw him, I nearly cried because I loved him. Aww. And then it's got Poetic Justice down the sleeve. I love it. And then PE got us those, those big comfy things that made you look like a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> but you had a good Christmas though? Yeah, it was lovely. It was um, chill, relaxed, but a lot of fun. We played games. And it's um, it, this, That's one thing I said on Thanksgiving. Um, just thankful for family, because obviously I was away from all of my family this Christmas. And um, to, ha to have a family that I could be included in and not felt like I was the extra yeah. piece, you know. So that was that was really nice. So, That's yeah, good. Was, I'm, was I'm glad that the, the, the Evanses slash Broadways, soon to be Broadways, <laughs> they're treating you well during these holiday yeah. seasons. Yo, man, Christmas, like, it's one of those inside holidays, mm -hmm. like, you really just spend it with your family, mm -hmm. but it still felt weird being, like, in COVID. Like, my mom went to Pontiac and, like, we couldn't hang out even mm -hmm. if we wanted to. So it, it was a good, you know, it was cold, incentive to stay inside. Yeah. Um, we had some, did we have hot chocolate? When did we do hot chocolate? The bombs or like the regular the, ones? The, the regular ones. We the, did regular hot chocolate like Christmas. Yeah, because we're brokies. And we can't afford it. The, bo the bombs was gone. Right. Yeah, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't find none. So we had to deal with the regular. Couldn't get that blue magic when we needed it. So, mm -hmm. But yeah, man, hot chocolate, open gifts. Maverick got so much stuff. So much stuff. I think he okay. un enjoys unwrapping more than the actual gift. Right? Yeah. So. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, kids don't play with toys, do they? Yeah. Like Maverick comes in here and has a field day because like there's just all this equipment to <laughs> play with. That he's not right. supposed to touch. No, but um, Christmas. Once you have children, Christmas mm. is totally different. Like last year, it was you know we had a little tree. He was all of what two months. 
Yeah. He got Aww. to eat for Christmas. You know? mm -hmm. like, now it's like, yo, he's moving around. He's grabbing stuff. Let us, let's get some gifts. Yeah. He he easily got the most expensive thing. Mm -hmm. But and people love him. So Aww. Merry Christmas, Maverick. You won't remember it. <laughs> so you know what I was thinking as well. So this is going to be the last podcast of 2020. E thank God. Are you glad to see the back of 2020? I am hopefully God willing. <laughs> Why? Like we don't know. We ain't yeah. ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 is Tomorrow crazy. is not promised. But um, yeah, 2020 is over. Kind of is is refreshing. Mm -hmm. I think I wrote down. I started writing 2021. Just oh. so I, because like on my forms I have to write it mm -hmm. or I'm gonna get in trouble. Mm -hmm. And I thought of Twenty One Savage. What about it? I just kept saying Twenty One. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so then I, I was, this is some post. I was like, yeah. All, oh, you said it. All Twenty One. I'm Savage or something like that. You know what I mean? But Twenty One, Twenty One, Twenty One. All year, y'all go hate me. I think it's going to be weird to to not be in 2020 anymore. Yeah. To not say, oh, 2020, oh, 20, you know what I mean? Like, so so many times, like, this is the one year that we said the year the most. Like, in 2018, I didn't keep saying 2018. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't a topic of conversation, what year it was. But now, like, in 2020, it's been like, everything is, oh, yeah, because it's 2020, oh, yeah, 2020, oh, 2020. Remember uh, 2012, the uh, Mayan calendar? was supposed to oh yeah yeah i feel like this oh trumps that by a lot a whole lot yeah when i thought the world was gonna end versus kobe dying it was just yeah man 2020 sucked mm -hmm. yeah it did and it didn't we spoke about that last week mm -hmm. didn't we that it was like good in some ways and not good it, it's good to shed it though like mm -hmm. i'm so glad to put it behind me all my goals our 2021 and forward mm -hmm. i don't even these last couple days mm -hmm. well i don't know when it's coming out but it's over yeah you can put a little Wait, bow on it and then just throw put it, it on the river seven. like moses <laughs> 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 no but so are you like a kind of person who likes a fresh new year because like, i'm the kind of person that i love a fresh new month so even when the new month starts, I think, oh, oh fresh, yeah. like a restart. Or are you the kind of person that's like, you know, kind of like a New Year's Eve Grinch? Because you know, there's people, do you know what I mean? Like there's people that are like, you know, um, in this new year, I'm going to do this, this and that. And they're like excited about it. And there's people on the other side that are like, if you have girls, you should start right now, kind of thing. You're that person, aren't you? I am definitely that person. I started in, like, December 6th. Yep. Literally start writing everything out. Mm -hmm. Start implementing slowly. But, yeah, I started a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So, not a Grinch. I, I don't want to take it away from people. <laughs> but the Grinch wasn't wrong. The Grinch wasn't wrong. And people usually give up on their goals around three months. Yeah. Into yeah. the new year, so... So for, for some of my goals, I had to start this week. Like, so like I started today with my new diet plan because, right, from the start of um, the podcast, so nine weeks, I've put on nine pounds. Oh, no, that's not good. No, 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 no. I don't think that's not good. No, but you can, watch, you can watch the podcast and you can see my face getting bigger and bigger. No, that's the camera quality. Like, we're, we're no, 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 no. <laughs> it's the food quality. Hey. <laughs> but um, so I had to start my new plan this week so that going into 2021, it's already a habit. So it's not something yeah. I have to try and start. Yeah. So I think the beef and the pork added into the diet probably, probably isn't the best. Not mine. Yeah. It's staying there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really like, even though I started eating red meat. Oh, that's a lie. I eat far too many cheeseburgers. <laughs> that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Like, since I started eating red meat again, I went wild with the McDonald's. And people don't like McDonald's, but I think it's delish. Yeah, no, it stays in your stomach for a while. It hurts. No, i seen, there's a, 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 a sausage burrito thing downstairs oh yeah still it's still down there and <laughs> and like i thought it was taco bell 
So I'm like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, this is McDonald's. Not that I was going to eat it anyway. But I touched it. I almost broke my finger. I think I'm not. <laughs> but it has been there since Sunday. Last. <laughs> it's been there for long. Okay, we need to throw that away. Ew. <laughs> Get it together, guys. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I was just thinking about this. Allison, she showed me there was a... Uh, was it 24 years? I thought it was months. Yeah, I thought oh, there was months. There was an 11 year old. A 24 year old McDonald's found. burger. Yeah. <laughs> it still looks good as new. Look, I'm not saying that the food is real. I'm just saying it tastes good. It tastes amazing. <laughs> like, I'm the kind of person who's like, do you remember the horse meat scandal? Was that a thing yeah, here? Burger King. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it's <laughs> <Whoa. like, laughs> Do you remember? So, like, a few years Taco ago, Taco Bell. a few years ago, they were. Um, there's this big scandal because like some of the meat that they were selling like beef and stuff like that was actually horse mm -hmm. meat and everybody was like up in arms and i was thinking did you die or did it did it taste bad like i think the only wrong thing about it is that people weren't aware but like i wasn't that fussed i was like okay yeah, I <laughs> there's a chef in the room no, so she's probably thinking what on earth <laughs> no man it, wasn't taco bell like was it like thirty percent real meat or yeah. something? Like thirty percent. They, they said KFC had like the weird chicken. It wasn't. It oh, was like water pool to Lagra. Yeah. <laughs> the KFC in America is so bad, so bad. What's in England, it tastes a lot better. Here, it's horrible, and so is Popeyes. How oh, man, you tripping, yo? I will oh, fight for some Popeyes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh my god, what are you like, doing? No, I, I was so disappointed because yeah. obviously in England there's certain places in America that you always hear about and Popeyes was one of them. So you always hear about Popeyes chicken. And I had it the first time and I thought, okay, this is salty, but maybe it was a bad batch. Oh no, it's salty. It's salty, right? It's you gotta so do salty. It. <laughs> you gotta get the <laughs> strawberry panther with it. Oh my Balance goodness. It out. And then the second time I tried it, I thought, okay, maybe it was a bad batch the first time, so I'll try it again. Didn't like it. But the the sandwich was the good. Sandwiches are amazing. Well, I wouldn't say it was amazing. Yeah, they no, they're amazing. They're, they're just like what it, it's just a sandwich. I, like. I asked for extra sauce and I felt like that was my fault. It was just too much, too much sauce going on. I got the spicy one. Oh, it was, it, it was dope, but it was too much sauce. Mm, wow. Too much sauce. But, but yeah, 2021, better food, better eating. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, sorry about the nine pounds. <laughs> it's fine. I'm trying to gain weight. That's it. That's it. Like that's why I'm like, yo, high five. Like I'm trying to put on like some muscle. Well, you lost three. Yeah. I and know. did you put it back on yet? Nah, it's all been the same. Okay, so like, you still. I gotta the... get measured. I gotta do all this stuff. So I'm trying to take different, different ways to measure my goals. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what um, 2021 is really bringing out of me. Is yo, we have to find a new way to measure success. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, gaining nine pounds sounds tragic, right? Mm -hmm. But if it was all muscle, then yeah, then exactly. what? So, but I know for a fact that it wasn't. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, man. I'm, I'm, sitting, I'm trying to be like, y'all hear me? Being I know encouraging? exactly what that nine pounds is, and it has to go. So, so yeah, there's that. Yeah, no, but yeah, 2021 goal setting that's been you know real big on me. Um, oh. I found this new thing called uh, systems. Okay. It's not new at all. Sorry. It's but, like an app or something. No. Mm -hmm. It's how you go about structuring your goals. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds this month. It's like, okay, what is the system that's going to get you to that goal? So instead mm -hmm. of, you know, fasting for half the month and eating only salads, mm -hmm. it's day by day measuring your food, mm -hmm. put it in a system. So like, I made a night routine, I made a morning routine, I got a work routine, like mm -hmm. I wrote all these different scenarios out mm -hmm. and I created a system for mm -hmm. it to make sure that I'm doing the best with the time that I have. Mm -hmm. um, I've been weighing all my food, like, yeah. but now I know what six ounces of rice looks like. Mm -hmm. 120 grams of chicken. Yeah. Like, just stupid stuff. I had to do that yesterday. So I had to make all my meals for the week. And oh my gosh, it just looks so boring. How but, far um, do you like cook? Um, I just until um 
till Friday. Is that okay? Yeah. You can leave. Like you can you know, seven, seven, seven days. Seven days. Yeah. So I've done five days. Yeah. I I was always told to do three days out, just uh, in case you want to do an audible. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I need to get to the end of the week because if it got to Wednesday and have to cook again, I'm not gonna. Yeah. So I thought if I set a day, so I set. Okay, on Sundays I'm gonna cook for the week that's coming. Then I'll just bang it all out. If I have to start stop and start again, I won't do it. Yeah. And I need to be disciplined. Yeah, that's your system though. It works mm -hmm. perfect for, for you. Yeah. But it's Real outside perfect. the goals, but how to make the goals work. Mm -hmm. So it's like a step above tactics, mm -hmm. but right under the big goal. Mm -hmm. So there's one thing that's gonna maybe stop me from achieving my goal. So I'm at, so on this new meal plan, right? What? Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> this new meal plan. I have to eat, um, like, I think it's like five or six meals a day, including breakfast, right? And I skip breakfast all the time because I'm not a morning person. So one thing that I need to try and do is wake up earlier so I can fit in the breakfast and then the lunch. But it's going to be a struggle because I'm such a night owl. Like, I'll literally go to bed at half ten and won't fall asleep till, like, after four in the morning. So it's like, I need to try and find a way that I can sleep at night. I feel like I can vouch for her now. She was not lying when she said that. She did That's not go to sleep until after four. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds <laughs> miserable. Like, She's <laughs> wide awake. <laughs> what are you like, doing? Literally, I could be tired all day, but as soon as midnight comes, I get like a new release of, release of energy. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Like, I just, I'm, I'm a night out, but the thing is, I've been like that since I was a child. So my dad always used to call me night owl. Like, people like buy me little owls and stuff. That's just what I'm known as in my family. So I don't know like how to change that. Miss Teapot, AKA night owl, AKA, we gonna find some, we gonna find like mad <laughs> nicknames. I'm gonna post them all. <laughs> Yo, so wait, what if, what if you eat at night? Is that like just a no go? Like, yeah. I'll, I'll, Cause I'm likely to have my last meal late anyway, but then I need to have. Late is Oh, do you, do you mean like have my breakfast before I go to bed? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. that's that's technically that next day. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? Wait, no, that's... no, it's your, it's yours. No, so I, this is this is me just freestyling, but it's your life. Like what? A book is not going to the book is not going to tell you to go to sleep at four a.m. Mm -hmm. But yeah. since you're doing it anyway, like I feel like you should kind of rotate all your food to make it work for you. So like when I worked third shift, I was yeah. eating at 4 a.m. kind of just to stay awake. Yeah. But then I'll sleep from 8 to 2. I wouldn't eat then. Yeah. But that's like optimal. Oh, so I could just hours. move it. Yeah, make it work for you, not like my sister oh. because I'm trying to gain, my sister told me to eat steak for breakfast. I'm like, you can't have steak for breakfast. She's like, you're an adult. You can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? true. Yeah. I'm going to be cooking breakfast at four o'clock in the morning oh, from now. Thank, thank you. you. Or no no no. <laughs> having <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> have it cook. Have as much ready as possible. Mm -hmm. No, but then I feel like breakfast has to be fresh. Is that weird? Like scrambled eggs? I'm not reheating scrambled oh, yeah, eggs. Oh yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. Make um little frittata things. Frittata? Yeah. I don't even know what a frittata like, is. Yeah. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to get Erin. Yeah, hey, so I'm trying to pay Erin to do my meal preps for me. Hey! Oh! 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 Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> So for the people that don't know, we have Allison, our executive hey. producer. We got Tank, sound engineer, and we got Aaron, the chef, aka the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding down Maverick, thank God. Mm -hmm. But Aaron is a chef. She is my younger cousin. I love her like a sister. Um, I love business. I don't know if y'all noticed yeah. that yet. Like I just love, love watching. Hustle. <laughs> That's what I'm about. Mm -hmm. I told Aaron, hey. No, this was this had to be 2019. No, we're still living with y'all. Yeah. 2019, yeah. the top, the top of 2019. I told her, hey, you should make diabetic meal plans for people who can't cook, mm -hmm. don't want to cook, don't have time to cook, but need healthy food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, I will deliver it all for you. You just have to cook it. Like I, I worked as a line chef. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I worked as a a line cook. Uh, is there a difference? Is a no, no. There's no such thing as a line chef. So uh. I worked as a line cook. I start off as a dishwasher. I made my way up. You know, I know how to cut. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I can help. Mm -hmm. And PE is a wonderful cook. We will all be in the kitchen. She said no. Because I believe that, okay, I don't have to go after everything. Like, mm -hmm. I, I hate meal plan. I love mm -hmm. to cook the day of. I don't like I don't like leftovers. Mm -hmm. So I, there's something about that. I, I don't think there's so many other things that I'm good at and I enjoy that I can make money off of. Set the recipe and I'll do it. I will do it. <laughs> I will pay. I will pay you for the recipe. Oh, like do it myself. Oh, could you like? Cause I have a meal plan, mm -hmm. but like you know, good flavors. So like the meal plan itself is like basic food. But if I told you what my food is, could you like give me a recipe? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Okay. That's I'll, a I'll pay you for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for the crispy pig, it burnt. All the food. <laughs> she she burned everything. <laughs> and that book, Chrissy Teigen, yeah. uh, John Legend's bride. Yeah. She burnt everything in that book. It looks terrible. Does it? Really? it, does it. Does. <laughs> I was <laughs> super excited. Yeah, this is terrible. Cool. Yeah, me and Allison, we were in Target. We were looking through books or whatever. Because I love Chrissy Teigen. So yeah. when I saw it, I was like, oh, I want to get it. And we went through I was like, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, no. Everything's like plantain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. If, Which, you find, if you find a picture, let us know. Pray for her, them because they just yeah. lost Oh, her, yeah. They just lost oh. They did. Wow, Mark. Sorry, he didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not on the. Lose. I'm not on the shade room. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, so yes. But meal prepping, man, that's a big step, huge step in it the is. right direction. And you know, like, because I'm, I'm meant to be, I've been on this um, meal plan for like two weeks already, but each week I didn't prepare, and you know, failure to prepare it's is preparing, preparing for fail. Yeah. So, um, so like, even as we go into the new year as well, like, even if it's a, a certain mindset you need to get yourself into, even if it's, like, forming habits with prayer and the in and hustling, like, from now, um, just prepare yourselves because we are going to go into a new year. We don't know what it's going to look like, but that doesn't mean that we can't go in optimistic. And I think that's one thing that I've been, like, feeling from um, some people. It's like, you talk about the new year and they'll be like oh but it's not going to be any better covid's not just going to disappear but now we, we're a year in with this covid so we mm -hmm. should have like known how to move a bit better you mm -hmm. know we should have adapted somewhat so um don't let the um, reality of covid take you away from having a, a great year and living to the best of your potential yeah because there's no going back in time mm -hmm. like there's no sense like when you're saying uh about 2020 mm -hmm. the wrap up it's like in 2021 if you're still talking about what happened to you last year mm -hmm. though tragic people lost people mm -hmm. but it's not gonna get you yeah further mm -hmm. um was is a big sean he said you are only you're only as except you're only as successful as much as you plan Mm -hmm. So literally, when your when your goals stop, yeah. or you put that deadline on it, mm -hmm. anything past that, you're just in the water. You're swimming. You're trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. So don't get caught freestyling, man. Y'all got a couple more hours until this new year. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, okay, so did you watch any movies over the Christmas? You're not a movie. I man, I watched The Grinch probably a hundred times. <laughs> you have never watched that. <gasps> We didn't watch it. Cover your ears, Matthew. No, I've never seen it. The Jim Carrey Grinch? Yeah. I remember when I was, I was in year three at school, and they um put they put it on to play, but I was too scared, so I left the room. <laughs> so, and that, since that, I've never seen it. I can see that. It is kind of spooky, but it's funny. Mm -hmm. After a hundred times, you know yeah. what I mean? It starts to lose something that's funny, but... Yeah, no, I've never seen that. But anyway, so I brought up movies because... That new um, Disney movie, Soul, came out, right? And I'm not going to spoil the movie, but I do, like, suggest people watch it because it was really good. Can you give me, like, a premise? Like, why should I watch it? Okay, you should watch it because the message is so good. And the message was basically about... So, 
it's all about the soul and there's like some lust souls and this guy's about to die and he's he wants to get back to his body but they basically say to get back to earth you need to feel like you're uh, it's going to be hard to explain without showing you but they've got this thing and the last button has to turn into an earth sign or something like that so, and in order to find that you have to find a spark so he this whole time he thought that he sparked the spark in his life and his like reason for living and um, the zest of his life was to um, his purpose which was um, music so he thought once I've achieved this dream of um, playing with this famous jazz artist then he'd, he'd be you know he'd enjoy life um, but really the premise of the film was that the spark in your life is the little things in life just the everyday living so that was the basic message that I got from it was that because so many times we set these goals for ourselves or we set a dream like say take hustle pray eat for example if like we were saying okay we're really going to enjoy life once we're a multi-million dollar company right which we were but if that was the only um, thing that was <laughs> keeping us a flow. A flow. We'll then be dead. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, would we enjoy the process? But then there's a little, the little moments during the hustle pray journey so far has been like a spark that keep us going. This podcast, you know, we have big dreams for it, but each episode we record, for me at least, is a spark because I enjoy the conversations that we all have, and um, just like the little things. So there was a soul that was lost. And she um, didn't like air, so she didn't want to go there. But when she was there, she started to get her spark from little things like the sunshine and the breeze and stuff. And it just made me think about so many times we can get caught up in chasing that dream um, or even chasing the hustle so much that we, we miss life. You know what I mean? Like we actually don't know how long we have here. You know, we don't know that we're going to make it to the end of 2021. And God willing, we will. But it's like, if you're only living for that one moment, because when that one moment comes, it's kind of like, oh, no, no. is that it? Because you haven't enjoyed anything in between. And there's so much in each day that we can enjoy. So it made me feel better because like, I don't know if you've seen me at night when I'm outside, but I always look for the moon and I always say, oh, there's the moon. Because <laughs> like, I just love the moon so much and I really appreciate the beauty of the night sky. And it made me feel like, you know what? I'm glad that I do that because it keeps my spark alive every day. Like I, I find something in every day. I'm missing out on the vocabulary because I didn't see the movie. Yeah. But I'm hearing spark a lot and I'm like, oh, it's super cool. <laughs> Okay. Like, you know, that spark, like that. Is this on Netflix? Little zest oh. No, it's on Disney. Disney Plus. I don't know what how they've, like, it's hard to feel, like, it's a film that I'm going to have to watch again. And I've already watched it twice. But I watch it again because I'm sure there's, like, lots that I missed. Um, but I also think it's talking about the, um, because some of the characters are 2D and some of them are 3D. Oh, wow. Like, so, yeah, so it's kind of like, I think that's a metaphor for, like, there's a, um, the different dimensions of life as well that we have a spiritual life and a, a life here on earth and it's all going simultaneously at the same time who are the actors i, I, I don't I, know who the yeah, actors i thought i seen it was jamie fox jamie he's fox like the main Lee. dude oh is it? i didn't even yeah, know that yeah he's the the voice of the main character can you zoom in mm -hmm. so it's tina Jamie. fey turn up mm -hmm. quest love uh, Donnell Rawlings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't even know who she was. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett's in it. Is she a mom? No, she's the. Um, Dorothea. Yeah, she's the the famous jazz oh. artist. I can see that. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. She was either mom, or auntie, or grandma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Usually, she, like, I feel like all her characters are usually the same. Yeah, because yeah. she the same. She's solid. <laughs> Never thought I'd see this picture on Yes. Oh. It's super dope, but they're not wearing masks. Oh my goodness. Does that bother you? Do you ever like watch movies or watch like uh I was watching Hip Hop Evolution mm -hmm. and they're in the house party and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> any of them in there. <laughs> they touch it and sweat and I'm like, never me. I think it I think it's weird seeing crowds, but when I see people with no masks on, I don't really think much of it because I still forget that we have to wear one. 
men. Like every time I get out of the car, I need to be reminded that I need a mask. See, I I work like you see, <laughs> you see my uniform. Like, <laughs> if someone sees me without a mask, I'm in trouble. Uh, so yeah, I, like I keep mine. I don't have mine. Right now. Yeah. But yeah, so sorry guys. Um. So I say all of that to say it's a good movie and it's worth watching. Wonder Woman 2, I mean Wonder Woman 84 is not though. It's called what? Wonder Woman 84. 84? Mm -hmm. It's set in eight, 1984. I was saying that. Did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Did I, miss miss I missed a couple. 82 of them. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't even think I've seen the first Wonder Woman. That it's one was good. But it's, um, I didn't enjoy that. And I also didn't enjoy... Um, did you hear a lot of people talking about Jingle Jangle? Yeah. Jingle Jangle. Is it still up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's on Netflix. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. Like everyone was talking about it, like, oh, Jingle Jangle, the Christmas movie of the century mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, it, it wasn't. Oh, yeah. I was disappointed. It yeah, very disappointed. No, man, I just watched The Last Dance, man. That's oh my. God. <laughs> <laughs> You've literally spoken about The Last Dance every, for every, nine episodes. You, know, <laughs> you haven't watched it. I yet. know. Okay, next week I'll come prepared <laughs> to discuss it with you because yeah. I didn't watch. No, it. seriously, that it doesn't disappoint. I know what's gonna happen. Mm. There's no surprises. There's still some little anxiety in it, but mm -hmm. it's not like a bad movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I would hate to sit down for two hours mm -hmm. and see something terrible. Yeah. I'll throw a fit. I feel like Wonder Woman, was it three hours? Three? I believe so. I, I feel like it was, it was up there. Was I left that freaking five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone just bounced. No, I like but the yeah. bat. I love Batman. I love Batman. Batman movies are great. The Scarecrow kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But... The Scarecrow? Yeah, in the first one. Batman oh. Begins. But they're long movies, but I can sit through them because I'm like a real fan. Mm -hmm. This? Nah, I'm straight. Uh, two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah it felt like 10. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Do you watch any other shows? Like, are you like a TV? No. Okay, the only show that I watch all the time is Judge Judy. I love that movie so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that movie? Judge Judy is the best. That's like a sick day. Like, no, 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 no. More... Honestly, I feel like Judge Judy is is my earliest memory of television. I've I've literally watched her for twenty six years of my life. Honestly. The, so well, they have Judge Judge Judy in England. Yeah, did they, the did Judge they Judith Tr Shineland. I call her Auntie Judy. Auntie Judy in my house. Did you have Maury? Yes. And Jerry Springer? Yes. And these are American shows. They just... Yeah, most, most of our entertainment, well, a lot of our entertainment in England is American. So y'all just laughing at us. <laughs> no, because we have, we have some terrible ones. When you got a spare minute, look up Jeremy Kyle. And then Jeremy you'll be Kyle. Like, no. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody write it down. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle, that's like a um one of the British talk shows. It is oh my gosh. It's you'll see the real England if you watch that. Because everyone thinks that, you know, we're all kings and queens and sipping tick while well, we do that. But like <laughs> <laughs> But no, that will show you the real uh, Have you ever had a family member on Mori? Oh. Or no. Oh have, you? <laughs> have you? Have you? Have you? Have you? Oh. One second. One second. One second. Oh. Did you know they were going up before they no. were gone? So you no. just watched it and you saw them? Hey, no. I see them. It, you it, need to speak into your mind. It's, it's circulated through Facebook. So <gasps> I've seen the video and I thought it was like a spoof. I'm like, oh, he put his head. He like transposed his head. But they, they said his name. I'm like, oh, my oh. God. Yeah, man. That was probably. Was he embarrassing? Or oh, funny? He wasn't the father. <laughs> <laughs> was he happy about it? Absolutely. Oh, he didn't want to be the father. Both of them. <laughs> yeah. Both. So there were two family members. Oh, oh my there. goodness. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, my hey, God. Was this recent? No. Oh. Hey, shout out to y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> wow. I've been, I've been in the audience of um, Jeremy Kyle. Really? Yeah. Did are you we... get to, like, did you boo anybody? 
Um, they they tell you to. It's so fake. Okay, yeah. I always wondered that because it'd be some situations where I'd be like, oh. yeah, they're like, yeah, you have to clap and da 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 da. But it was just like so, like some of the situations. It's like, wow, you guys are wild. Like, how do people actually live these lives? But they pay you to be on it. I don't know if you knew that. So like Judge Judy, oh yeah, Judge, uh, Judy. Judge Mathis, uh, Joe Brown, uh, a small claims mm -hmm. court. So I think it's under five thousand. Mm -hmm. The television show will pay. Yeah. The fee. The fee. Or yeah. Whatever. So. But Judge Judy, like she has like probably at this point she's probably got like over three thousand episodes. She gets paid like a million dollars per episode. And it's amazing. No, it's not. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love this Judy. It's just drama, man. Like people. But she's a. She's so good. She's like. Oh, <laughs> like, like yeah. I think I Joe. I think Joe Brown. Will get. Uh, Judge Judy out in a versus. If we do twenty, <laughs> if, we, if, we, if we do two, twenty case. Judge but, Joe Brown. Yeah, Judge Brown. We have we have a judge called Judge Rinder. Look him up. Judge who? Rinder. Please. R I N D E R. What? Rinder. We have Rinder. 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 Judge Rinder. Yeah, Judge Rinder. He's got five point one out of ten. Yeah, he, yeah he, don't, he, don't hate, go to him. I hate his show so much. Uh, he looks mean. Yo, um, yeah, so I will watch. So, do we have Disney Plus? Yeah, we do. Yes, yeah, I really don't watch TV. Like, okay. I'm I'm so but like, PE's been trying to get me to watch the Star Wars show. Oh, uh, I want to watch. I've never seen Star Wars either. My brother loves Star Wars. Yeah, man. Tony was watching it the other day, but she said she got bored, so I don't know. It's only the, it's only like special shows like the food truck traveling shows or oh do you like antique shows no okay so when I was little <laughs> and like after Judge Judy I used to watch um flag it flag hey, it any point uh what <laughs> flag it oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, so like, you know, when, do you know what flag means? No. To flag something. To like beat them up or something? No, to like sell it. To sell it. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> I thought flogging so, was like abuse. No. So so basically, the people come, like, say if I had this cup and it was like 100 years old, I'd go to you and you'd be like, yes, and you can see the markings under here, made in China. Oh, like palm Oh, yeah. Palm yeah, yeah nice. and then oh. they go and go and take it to the auctions. I used to love that. I don't know why I told you that. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, like, no there, it has to be a very special show mm -hmm. that captures my attention. Like The Office. Like The Office. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll have to see it through. Like, uh, I watched the whole thing like three or four times. Have you watched The Big Bang Theory? Mm -mm. Oh, I love that. Is, have it, you is it similar? No. I have. I love The Big Bang Theory. It's like you're good. It's really good. Oh, no. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm a I'm a I'm a watch so I'm gonna check it out. Um Okay, I'll, you do that and I'll watch the last dance. Alright, it's ten episodes. Okay. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say start at episode five. Am I gonna miss a lot of the context though? Yes. But, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it all. I'll do it. It's it's gonna be nothing but greatness. It's gonna inspire you okay. to do above and beyond. Well, that's what we want. Always looking for inspiration. Yeah, man. So, mm -hmm. oh. um, so one thing I did want to um, talk about, though, like, it's going to change the mood a bit. But I just think, like, for me, today is an important day. And I thought, you know, eventually I'm going to have to tell this story. So, like, why not today? So today marks the year since we was in Cincinnati. So we had a um, show in Cincinnati and it was amazing. Do you remember? You don't remember, do you? <laughs> so, I don't. I don't remember how I got there. I just remember. I remember Andy Minio not doing so well in his performance. Okay, so so we can, we can talk <laughs> yeah. about that. Yeah, no. because, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh. Because what happened, right, is that <laughs> that so Mark and Stephen performed. Smoke that boy. It was amazing, right? And then Andy was on after, but when he started performing, like every like so many hundreds. Because it was a 5,000 people show and hundreds of people like 
walked out when Andy and Mignogna went on so they could come and buy for some crazy. Y'all showing up. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's, no, no, seriously though, like that happened. But but you see you seen our you seen our show. It was amazing. Like you, we practiced for months. Cincinnati, we have a 15 minute set that we're about to lock out. We asked for more, they didn't want to give us more time. That's what happens, man. It did. That did happen. Yeah. That was a fact. The Malcolm Minio show tour coming 2020 never. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just wrote it. My bad, bro. Oh my goodness. But, I'm sorry. I just. Cincinnati, you got a phone call. Yeah. So it was it was weird because like we were sending Hustle Crazy. And um, so, but while you and Stephen were on the stage, my mum was calling me and I said to PA, I was like, after the show, I'm going to need you to call me at the booth because I feel like I'm about to get some bad news about my dad. I don't know why, but I just felt it. And then, so when I went out, obviously my mum, uh, I spoke to my mum and she said, she was like, uh, is PA with you? Like, go and get him. And I was like, no, just tell me. Because I was already prepared somewhat. And so my mum told me that my dad was in hospital. So that was... Um, that night my life changed forever and i knew that it was about to so when my mom was calling me i didn't answer straight away because i was like okay let me just get to the end of um, mark and stephen's set because i feel like this is going to be the last time my life is going to be as i know it do you know what i mean so that was um so this time last year was a big like shift in my life because my dad had a stroke so i knew that if, even if he survives he would never have been the same again yeah. so for me it was like okay my life has really changed as soon as i answered this phone call so um so yeah so that was like my last bit of normalcy you know 2020 changed life for everybody but i feel like the 28th of december 2019 is when it changed for me so like the last normal thing that i remember was you and mark performing which was which was wild and and then you and um, Stephen prayed for me, so I remember that. Yeah, that was. I'm not gonna say it was strange, mm -hmm. cause, I mean, but not clearly knowing what you're praying for, mm -hmm. but just seeing and feeling the the tension is like, all right, I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know if you remember, like mm -hmm. sweating bullets, paper towel, like you know, and you know when. I don't, there's some random lady there too. Like I remember somebody else was trying to like get in the circle while we were praying. It was Oh yeah. But I remember it was just a super heavy feeling. Didn't know what was going on. Then P. E. was like, Hey, we gotta get Jay to England. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He was like yeah. it's, it's gonna cost something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we probably wouldn't have been this far <laughs> without her. <laughs> We would have gave everything away. <laughs> right. But yeah, man, I'm so like, I'm glad that you were able to go back. I'm glad. Thank you. Like, honestly, like, because if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have been, because I had a ticket already booked for the 5th of January. So I was going to go back and surprise my family, surprise my dad, because I told him I was coming in April. So then, but I had to get back as soon as possible. And I'm glad I did. Yeah. So thank you. And thank you like for everybody like that's been there for me this year because it's hard um you know mourning your family without your family. So like if it wasn't for especially like the people in this room right now, it would have been like a lot different for me. So yeah, I just wanted to you know just and shout out to my dad as well because he inspired me so much like in in my life and he always told me, "You're Richards, you can do anything." And he made me believe that. And losing him made me think like, okay, everything that I want to do, I have to do it because my dad would tell me to do it. I can always hear his voice, you know. So, um, and the podcast is one of those things that I always wanted to do. And I think losing him gave me that inspiration to actually get it done. Because as well, like life is not promised to anyone. Sorry to change the mood, but you know, it's life. <laughs> life man mm -hmm. that's super rough man mm -hmm. i'm sorry that you have to go through that i haven't you know lost my father mm -hmm. um, i lost my grandpa mm -hmm. um, i wasn't as close mm -hmm. i just didn't see him i had the opportunity to see him but i never did mm -hmm. so 
that's 2020. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like a jerk <laughs> for not going. Mm -hmm. But like, just, yeah, yeah I, I don't deal with loss. <laughs> yeah. Even hearing about someone yeah. else's loss, I'm like, oh. Yeah, no, it's true. And like, I wish, I wish like we didn't have to talk about these things, but if we're going to be real, you know, mm -hmm. as Hustle Free, we want to. And, and especially in a year like this, it's not really something that you can escape over and like act like it's not happening because so many people are losing people at a massive rate so having an experience in that like somebody watching this is probably going through it right now and so like what can no, I, your siblings yeah my siblings you know and so like what can i teach like what is a teachable moment in this and i was thinking about like what are some of the lessons you can learn from last and i think it is just um, the fr fragility of life, you know, it's so fragile and the people around you, you know, just cherish them, love them, tell people that you love that you love them, you know, don't wait until it's too late to um, try and do that. Um, is it recording? There's three minutes till it's gonna die. Oh, it's gonna die. The charger's um, there, you've got to plug in that extension, the extension's right there. <laughs> Sorry guys, the camera's about to go. Um, I feel like that was my fault. Why? Probably should have plugged, plugged it in. When... Oh, it no. was your fault, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, Mark, can you just say like a quick prayer to anybody that's going through loss right now? Yeah. Uh, Lord, we just thank you um, just for your breath. Thank you. Mm -hmm. it's, I think that's the, the first place to start and a great posture to remain. Mm -hmm. Just be thankful. Um, even for a crazy, topsy turvy year that we've mm -hmm. been having, um, for those of us who got to see the end of 2020 mm -hmm. and went through a lot to get here, mm -hmm. we just pray that you see over us. You, Set out our path. Woo, hold on. Are you hot? Lord, I'm trying not to get all emotional. We it's thank you. We love you. you. Yeah, no, I don't want to, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, for anybody that's dealing with loss and grievance, Lord, we just pray that you just come alongside of them, Lord. You just fill them with your spirit, um, the joy, and the, the laughter, the patience the warmness of the spirit lord i just pray that you just fill your people lord um and you be our banner in christ's name we pray amen amen, amen. Ooh. amen. god i didn't want to show my hair either <laughs> Go on, man. Go on. <laughs> yeah, dog. i look like a gonzo <laughs> like a muppet baby <laughs> but talking about 2020 you crazy yeah oh. like it's not over yet so there was a bomb in that's true. Yeah, that was uh it was alarming. What uh I didn't Allison, even hear about yeah, it. Was it Cora? What oh yeah. Yeah, Cora, she posted she's in Nashville, she's from here. Mm -hmm. So when I went to look it up, I just thought, oh man, like they bombing stuff as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Hearing a story about the uh no i'll let you tell it because uh i'm gonna mess it up okay so Guaranteed. apparently so a man in nashville he bombed what what did he bomb an at&t store an at&t store because they put up um 5g towers <gasps> and his dad got dementia so he thinks that the 5g caused his dad's dementia so he blew it up did anyone die I think one person was injured, but no. luckily no one died. Oh, no one died. Or From what, what I saw. Yeah. So, yeah, so 5G. So, I think, I actually forgot that there, that was a big thing this year as well. I totally forgot about that. People were, like, scared and saying that. I know that people thought that um, 5G was causing corona and that 5G. Vico just said that um, 
our squirrels is <laughs> watching this. <laughs> squirrels are 5G. <laughs> no, like, I feel like there there is some things to, like, you know, like the whole microwave thing. Mm -hmm. like, don't, if you're pregnant, don't stand next to a microwave while you're going. Yeah. Like, there's mm -hmm. reasons why people are saying stuff like that. Like, it goes beyond what I know, mm -hmm. but there are waves, there are frequencies that heal. Mm -hmm. And in the same breath, there are frequencies that harm yeah. or kill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had an example of a 5G tower and half the tree was dead next to yeah. it. Not sure if it was dead before the tower went up. <laughs> but yeah. then, so this is uh, my mom. I love you, mom. She says some wild things. Okay. And it's all around Corona and 5G. Okay. But she's been on it before all the masks, oh, before okay. like she was ready. We had the pyramids, we had the necklaces, we was tin foiled out, right? <laughs> then you start hearing it, then you know, all the stuff, all the tragic stuff is starting to happen. But the little things, like they're planting trees in the hood. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I'm on like college and Dickinson, shout out. Mm -hmm. They're planting trees and they're fixing the grass and doing all this stuff in random people's yards. And it's like, y'all, y'all never came around here. Like, I've uh, never seen anybody plant a tree in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it's, I wonder what the, you know, validity of the 5G is. Because mm -hmm. it, it caused dementia and bombing it from a, a you know, yeah. older person. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a little extreme. Yeah. But. I don't know. I think, like. The thing is, like with 5G, it may be causing damage, but do you think like there's an ulterior motive? Do you think these 5G planters want to kill people? I think that's the bigger like, that's where the conspiracy comes like. Do you believe in population control? I don't know enough about it. Cause, cause this, this is, I think so, because but I feel like there's other ways you can control the population. Like food? Yeah, yeah water, like they do McDonald's, that. McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water? It's true. <laughs> well, that. I'm falling right Beard into oil. the McDonald's trap. <laughs> <laughs> Lecrae said we don't eat McDonald's no more. So listen to him, man. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. Like, I try not to um, get too caught up in it because i feel like it can be really scary and i feel like life is just mm -hmm. scary i feel like the it. same way about revelation <laughs> <laughs> but revelation is the word of god yeah but it's <laughs> terrifying y'all yeah y'all we're, we're not gonna make it but yeah i feel like all of it kind of runs into like a a god's plan mm -hmm. and a plan that's against christ yeah and i feel like god's plan as scary as Revelation is, mm -hmm. is a lot safer than, what? you know, what is not of God. And I feel like population, like people made mention of it. Mm -hmm. People, you know, all these vaccines and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, man. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, population control, guys. Hustle, <laughs> pray, eat. Yeah, go, go get the merch. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna find his own life. We're not really good at selling stuff on this podcast. Like the the goal was never to sell anything. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. That's why I haven't because you told me that's not the goal. Yeah, it's not. It's really not. I really. I want... can sell if you want me to sell. I can sell some puzzle for you. No, I just I think <laughs> out, out of a, just a focus of my week, mm -hmm. I really think as a marketing person, I'm mm -hmm. I'm in charge of marketing, yeah. and this is a great opportunity. It just never feels right. It'll never feel good. Yeah, to just have an ad, but I think like there's enough. Yeah, but you know, I mean, the shirts cover. I don't know if you can read the, the name of the book. We got. It's the called kid. The Edge of Redemption. You can find it on Amazon by Troy A. Evans. The, the, the QVC, the HPE lady. Like honestly, if you want me to sell, I can sell. Yeah, no, nah, it's a we 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 sell, gonna rock. Baby, sell. Yeah, we we gonna rock without it for a while. We're just gonna make sure we're gonna get everything good. But yeah. population control was definitely not on the docket. No, it I'm, wasn't. I'm sorry. I, I, that, that's why I was like, do I believe in it? I don't know what to say because yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, people won't stop talking when they don't know what to say. Like I am very good at that. 
if what? I don't know Do what to say, to yeah, man, I just add words. No, I and just I said, usually I, find the sentence somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with not being right, so I'll just be like, okay, I don't know enough about that to have an opinion. I don't know if I agree with that. What do you mean? I don't know. Just the other <laughs> side. Yeah, you're just, oh my gosh, just being difficult. No, but, uh, yeah, man, I really feel like we can land this joint, right? Is there anything else that we need to do? Do you need to, you need to show me a song? I keep forgetting. Hold on, let me get the speaker. Okay. Tank, I'm telling you, boy. Woo! Is it a good song? It's amazing. Is it new or old? It is old. Okay. No, I'm gonna put that boy right here. Right here. Is it somebody that I've heard of before? Maybe. You don't know. So uh, you haven't showed me any of their music before. No. Lecrae's on it. Oh. Shout out Lecrae. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. Oh, you know it. You know which one is from Tank. If it, if Lecrae on the on the old record, it is a classic. Yeah, you know it's a okay. classic. You know it's gonna be all right. But did Lecrae have a song that went Bibles, Bibles? What? Maybe. Keep that over there. Maybe. Like when I said it, I thought, okay, that sounds that sounds good. <laughs> it could have been after the music. Like, <laughs> I could have missed I, it. I feel like because I had a friend in school called Janae. Hello, Janae. She watches. Um, she um, she was a big Lecrae fan, and I remember her saying "Bibles, Bibles, everybody Bibles" or something like that. Oh. Well, that sounds really British. Uh, that I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> you said she, you said she was a fan. Ooh. Yeah, she was a fan. What happened? Um, she, oh, this, yeah, that, that, that's her judging. business, but yeah, she know. um, she's not a fan anymore. It's okay. So was, I'm a fan. Me too. Tank actually is, aren't you? No, I'm. I'm actually... Mark's not a fan. Mark's not a fan. Okay, Mark's not a fan of me. <laughs> Bottles and Bibles. I'm trying to find the song she's talking about. I don't think it's a real song. I think I'm right. imagining hey, it. Hey, can you look this up so she can get the lyrics? It's called who? He, oh, I can say that, it. Yeah. Who he is? Who he oh, is? Oh yeah, that's definitely a classic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I, I didn't want to take the notes. Is it who he is or who is he? <laughs> okay. Who is, he? <laughs> 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 who is it by? Jason. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mark. Okay, one? because you play me Christian hip hop songs. Yeah. Next week, can I make you listen to a Dolly Parton song? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to her theme park. She has like a little town in oh, Tennessee. Yeah. I went to the um, You took me there. <laughs> <laughs> and we, 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 hey, oh, hold up, man. Dollywood. I, I want to go to Dollywood. Here, put this on mic. Imagine your honeymoon. Boy, don't say because you had a good time. Uh oh. No, I had a great time. <laughs> what's the What's the guy's name? Jay Son. Jay Son. Like J S O N. Yeah, that brought me to Sir Carter. So. Right. I got you. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Your honeymoon. <clears throat> honeymoon was super lit. It was yeah, fun. Yeah. But on the way there, yeah. we're driving through, driving through the mountains of Kentucky and blah, blah, blah. And we see this big sign mm -hmm. of Dolly Parton. Oh. And it's you like, it's like, <laughs> this, is the, this okay. is the whitest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. No, it is. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. Like, in one of the corners of the southeast side. Like, I'm from Ladywood, Birmingham, and I love Dolly Parton. I've oh, never... Yeah. She's so talented. Dolly Parton was only referenced in, like, hip-hop. As, like, she's just a punchline. Yeah. <laughs> you really could tell you what she did. That, have you ever listened to it? No, absolutely not. I'm a, yes, you have. Listen. Jolene, 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 Jolene. All right, hey, so. <laughs> that's her. Whitney Houston song, Instagram. Yeah, I will, I will always love you. She, yeah. she wrote that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, that's yeah. Really? She sang that originally. I thought you were going to talk about the lightning that hit stuff on their way to Nashville. Oh. I completely forgot about oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, didn't, uh, they, the whole thing burned down. Wow. <gasps> Dollywood. Well, so Gatlinburg, yeah, they had a huge, like, it was a couple of years ago. Everything was burned down. Two years down. ago. Yeah, it was right. It was our honeymoon. Yeah. Everything, we, there was a lot of stuff we couldn't see because a lot of Gatlinburg was, like, destroyed. 
Oh. Like there was barely anybody there. Do you live in the mountains? I don't like how you say that. <laughs> 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 no, because there's a really bad connotation about Kentucky people that live in the mountains. Oh, it's, it's I a thought, real thing. no, I don't even <laughs> say that because what? Dolly Parton lives in the mountains. Lives in lives in the mountains. I, so can, I, was just see, I can see that. Sorry, Alison, I didn't no, know it's okay. I even know. <laughs> or anybody that lives in the mountains, there's no, you know. No, I'm, I was genuinely just asking yeah. if she lives in the mountains. Nothing no, I that. lived in a, I was in a small city, like you could drive through it in like five minutes. Yeah. Ten uh, minutes. Ten minutes. Hey, if you yeah. sneeze real hard, you're in another city. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Town. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay. So, is it not here? Whoa. Oh. I'm like, oh, what are you looking that's, up? That's, oh, yeah. Yeah. okay. Kentucky Mountain people. But, okay. <laughs> uh, so is it not? No. Okay, J, like the letter J, S O N. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, make them lyrics big. Okay, let's get into this. So it's um, Jason. Who, who is, is he? Who is? <laughs> <laughs> Art. Art. Um, Do you know this song, Emily? Yeah, I know. I probably I have to listen to it, but I know the cover of it. Yeah. Okay. All right, go up, go up. So the album is Life on Life. Okay. And Life it's, on Life. It's literally about like discipleship, like cats walking together, right? Okay. So imagine like I'm hearing this in real time of building discipleship relationships mm -hmm. with peers and older people. Mm -hmm. So they're using like I remember uh, David Rickard. Shout out David. <laughs> He used to bump this only because that's what he was uh, about, yeah. and it, it made sense. So like every time I'm with him, like I hear like a new line. I thought it was dope, but I remember he played this. He had the little uh, green grand dam. He had beats in it, and I remember hearing this was like, "Ooh, who is this?" Like yeah. I'm not like a new Christian, but I'm sitting there like I'm pumped up, man. Mm -hmm. Like blood flowing. I'm like hitting my chest. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to be in Christian hip hop. Wow. This okay. this was a moment for me, and I'm like, yo, Jay will love this. Okay. The song is yeah, called Who out of Is He? Different time zone. All right. <laughs> like, that's, what, that's what we should do. Yo, give me four bars. Let me know how you feel like the flow should go. Okay, let me see. All right, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> but where is it up? I can see it. There you go. Okay. Mm. Yeah, walked out of his home, different time zone, lives in eternity. Now he's living in time zones. This is mind blown. God in the universe knows every star in the sky and human hurt. No, wait there. Wait there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had it right, too. Did I? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we let this whole thing rock. Okay. I'm not stopping it. Don't take my vocals off. Yeah. Walk out of his home, different time zone. Lives in eternity, now he's living in time zone. This is mind blown. God of the universe knows every star in the sky to my human hurts. Made the trees, made the breeze, made the seas, and seas like Jay and me. <laughs> I hope you get it home. Only your God is perfect in love but I believe it's grown for some skin and bones. It's hard to live just breathing to death. When the same God that made you was breathing your breath. Who is he? God in the flesh who was tested, who came and offensive, was killed, resurrected. Who are you? Do you even know who you are? Created to know the God who created the stars. Who is he? He was, he is, he will be. Death could know that the need is your death still. Who are you? Never existed if you don't trust the God of the scriptures. Then this is magic God in the flesh. Invisible scene is visible. Infinite scene and finite. Spirit becoming physical. It's odd, man. God man is kept and obeyed. The unkind finds to breathe the very breath that he made. You would sweat, sweat. You would weep, we even eat, eat. Or it's home. We death, 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 and three, three. So we see, see, stronger. Give us anything, even offer his wealth. And wouldn't he love if he ain't 
for himself. So he stepped down, down from his throne and would move this ground and touch the ground. Though he knew he would be bruised and bound. He is, now and then, next and later on. It still is what me and Craig can't convey in this song. Yo, a man's can never reason his thing. The question do you truly see him the same? And if you see him the same, do as a living God and match this Christ, how much do these truths impact your life? Impact who is he? God in the flesh who was I miss you. He manifest, he was killed, resurrected. Who are you? Hey, can you even know we should do this for worship? Yes, 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 yes
Yeah. Have you, besides any like HPE event, have you been to any other like Christian concerts? No, I've never, mm, I've been to concerts, but I don't like concerts unless I'm backstage because I don't like crowds. Oh, okay. I don't like standing in crowds, but like, because I used to work for the BBC, I used to go to it a lot, but I'd be working there, so I'd be able to be on the side of the stage. So I like that, but I don't like, um, I don't like crowds, and I don't like mosh pits and all that stuff. Oh, so man. when a ma mosh pit is mentioned, I have to disappear. Ooh, yeah, you better get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you better run. No, I'm so scared to be crushed, because I really feel like I'd get crushed. Yeah, I've seen it happen before. Really? Yeah. Then somebody was seriously hurt. Temple, Texas, uh, Family Ties tour. We had to stop it. Never, we never had to stop a show. We had to say, "Yo, we love the energy, but it's kids right here. Yeah, the speakers is uh, like they know, so uh, <laughs> uh, hard enough. Bow. Oh, yeah, they have two faces. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you see, that yeah. scares me. But I do like, I love live music, and I love the feel. Yeah, man, I can't wait to get back. I cannot wait to get back. We ha we have a tour. Oh yeah. In the works for March. March. So the dates are posted, just not the location. So mm -hmm. yeah, That's hey, drop your location. We might show up. Right. <laughs> but yeah, man, live concerts, super ill. Can't wait to get back. Jason, I went to the Unashamed. Uh, to twenty ten. 2011, 2011. Wow. Ooh. Then the one after it was like this one propaganda mm -hmm. and pro went from pro to Derek Minor, like part way through the show. Oh, his name was Pro before. Yes. Oh, okay. What did did um his music change with his name? I like Derek Minor a lot more. But when Pro was a feature, when he featured on something, he murdered it. Oh, really? Yeah, he was like the Wayne. Like, he had the mixtapes, he had the albums, the posse cuts, like, you know. Mm -hmm. What's a posse cut? Like, with the whole team. Oh, okay. Like, he shined on them. Oh, okay. So, shout out Pro. Shout man, out Man, we miss you. But, man, that's it. I'm glad you liked the song. I'm glad I liked it, too. I think I should be a DJ. I'm going to work on it. Yeah, I'm going to practice. <laughs> Next week we'll be um, listening to um, He's Alive by Dolly Parton. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring some to like, even it out or whatever. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yes. Hey, that's it, there man. There we go. Episode, episode, <laughs> epi episode nine of play, the play, play. Boop, 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 Thank boop, you to boop, our boop, production boop. team. Thank you to Maverick. And thank you to you guys at home for watching and rocking with us. We'll see Welcome. you in 2021. Wait, 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 wait. Please subscribe, oh, like, yeah. comment, share. Uh, share. Do all the other stuff that the other podcasts and yes. YouTubers and SoundCloud people are doing. And you can go even further and you can shop Puzzle Prey Eat. Our yeah. hoodies are fleeced. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm scared. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, they are fleeced. They're super warm. Happy Kwanzaa for anybody out there that celebrates it, you mm -hmm. know. But yeah, super lit. Episode 9, we out here. Oh, that's eight. <laughs> <laughs>